Hello Libra. Welcome to your April reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. Now, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm starting off with a couple of oracle cards for you and then we will move on to your tarot. Oh, beautiful. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. We have milk and honey. Lovely. Okay, let's get you a moonology. Whoa. Okay, wait a minute. It muddles the reading. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pick again. Clear your mind. Yeah. What did I say about muddling the reading? I feel like you guys may be a little scattered right now. But last quarter moon in Gemini. And finally, let's get you a star code. That was an almost maybe. Twelfth house, introspection. All right, that's quite interesting to me. I like this. Okay, before we start, I'm just going to grab a sip of coffee. I have to show you my mug. Everything is terrible. <laughs> mm. Okay, <clears throat> with milk and honey, this is the Ten of Pentacles for me. This is a card of absolute abundance and knowing that you deserve it. It talks about splashing about in a pool of honey and just being blessed with sweetness and nourishment and nourishing your body, mind and spirit. And why I say that is because we have the 12th house. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces. All right, and we just went through Pisces season and Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So whenever we complete an astrological year, which we have because we've just begun Aries season with the spring equinox, um, we have discovered and studied all the aspects of all the zodiacs on the wheel, of all the signs on the wheel and we've taken nuggets of wisdom from each season, right? And that leads to balance. Because you see all the chakras that are aligning themselves on this card. I feel like you have introspected enough, learned enough from your conscious and subconscious minds and you're amalgamating that wisdom in order to reach a place of harmony. I like that and I feel like you're nourishing yourself in the process. That's quite beautiful, very wholesome start here. We do have clear your mind. So some of you may need to meditate a little more than you normally do, but we shall see. Now I'm using the Ostara tarot and Ostara means vernal or spring equinox, which, whoa, too many cards, <gasps> which means, um, which we've actually just gone through. Whoa, beautiful. Uh, on the 21st of March, it's a new year for us. We have the full new year, new beginning, beautiful energy already. Oh my God. I love this card in this deck, the queen of pentacles. Fantastic start. The chariot. You remember the chariot had flipped over when that massive chunk of cards flipped? It wanted to show itself. Cancer energy. Oh, nice. We have the seven of cups. It can be nice and not so nice, but we will see. Five of pentacles. Knight of pentacles interesting how it's right under the chariot all right let's skim over these real quick before we pull bridging cards mm. with the full card there is a new beginning coming about for you um and i feel like you want to take that leap of faith i feel like you're ready i feel like you have introspected enough and you've done your homework and you are ready but the Seven of Cups can talk about having way too many options and being, being confused about which direction to go in. The Seven of Cups is a card of illusion and disillusionment. It can also talk about wanting to gravitate towards things that are new and bright and shiny, not realizing that sometimes the things that are tarnished and have that patina on them and things that are rusted have actually seen more and are wiser choices. You know what I mean? 
if something is seeming bright and shiny it might not be the best opportunity for you take it how it resonates but we will clarify why i said i love the love the queen of pentacles in this particular deck the queen of pentacles is um, embracing her baby all right there are herbs hanging from the top and there is a shield at the bottom which suggests that this queen wants to nourish as well as protect her child now this child could be your inner child it could very well be your own child you could be a mother or a father and um i feel like you are nourishing you are nourishing that aspect whether it is your own baby or it is you your inner self and you remember i said nourish when we got milk and honey so i feel like that is something that you are delving deep into right now but <laughs> we have the five of pentacles the five of pentacles can be a card of putting yourself out in the cold and not taking any help when it is offered the queen of pentacles is a very independent person now there's no gender in tarot just take the energy with you it's possible that you feel that if you take help from another it's almost like you're weak the five of pentacles can talk about putting down your guard and your ego and pride and taking help if needed that it is available to you and the five of pentacles can also talk about delving deeper into your spirituality in order to find salvation again we will bridge and find out with the chariot you are wanting to move there is a lot of movement here that wants to happen the chariot is ridden by the emperor and the emperor has to balance the two horses that represent light and shadow in order to reach victory it talks about getting over obstacles and speed bumps and riding to success so i see you doing that having that determination to do that but i feel like the only way you can accomplish that is if you clear your mind if you are thinking from a scattered mind if you haven't successfully been able to balance your energy and your aura you will not be able to your horses will just lead you astray in two different directions you'll be torn between two different paths the opportunities that we've been talking about this is this is love or career for you you'll have to take it how it resonates now the knight of pentacles it's quite wonderful that we have this because the chariot can be a very gung ho energy of wanting to just go 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 without having a plan okay and we've been getting this a lot because mars and saturn are um going to be squaring off and just opposing each other and there's just a very malefic kind of energy in the sky uh right now so i feel like that that drive to do something may not get you the results that you want it will get you movement and motion yes but it might might not be as fruitful as you would hope unless you plan the knight of pentacles is somebody who plans it is somebody who slows himself down and relishes the journey instead of jumping forth and wanting to reach his destination he's learning right it is a slow and steady pace which leads to success eventually so i feel like these two cards are almost balancing each other out um okay let's see let's get some bridging cards what's between the fool and the seven of cups we have temperance exactly <laughs> you guys need to temper yourselves you need to balance yourselves this is sagittarius energy you could be dealing with a sagittarius or have it heavily in your chart um i feel that when there are too many options and when there isn't enough clarity it's better to take a step back instead of taking a leap of faith the introspection card 12th house may be here to tell you that there is more balance that needs to be attained here okay and it's all right what happens when we enter aries season is the spotlight is on the first house usually for an aries but for everybody because it is spring cleaning it is us ridding ourselves of the old and starting something brand new right um but that can put a lot of pressure on us you know we have that energy and that motivation to let's do something and then we just do anything because we want to do something you know what i mean so it is possible that uh you may be a little disillusioned right now and you may need to take a little bit of time with the temperance card to understand the circle of life a little more and why i say that is because you see predators and prey bursting from her chest and that to me represents 
the circle of life. There is more wisdom that needs to be gained here before for all of this disillusionment and almost indecision to clear itself. So you can take that leap of faith that you've been wanting to. Three of swords. Yeah, there has been pain here. And I say this in my readings very often. A lot of us think from our hearts, okay? Me included. I have a lot of water in my chart. So when we think from a heart that is broken, it will always lead us astray because we are thinking biasedly. Our heart is just trying to kind of protect us and it can even suggest you putting a band-aid on a bullet wound your mind however your intellect has gained a lot of wisdom over time it's learned a lot of lessons and its primary focus is to preserve your energy so when the heart is incapable of making decisions it is better to ground yourself and think more from your head I feel that somebody may have put you out in the cold. Somebody may have challenged not your authority, but your stability. You showing up as the Queen of Pentacles here, you're showing up as someone very nourishing and very caring. And I feel like that's what you were in your relationship. But this person just left you out in the cold and that broke your heart. For a few of you, I'm getting, I'm not getting too much career here, but I will address it. Uh, I am getting that after this heartbreak it's oh i dropped a card uh, after this heartbreak it's almost like you just want to remove yourself from this and start a new journey because i am done with this i just want to start something new and that's not the right time to start something new that's the right time to learn learn from the past right Okay, I'm not going to take these because that's just too many cards. We have the five of wands. Conflict. There's an inner battle that you are fighting. It's, it's like you want to, again, take that leap, but you're not exactly sure if it is the right time to or not. You need to clear your mind. It's like the car wants to run, but there's no fuel. There is too much mental conflict here. Your heart and your head are at odds with each other. The king of pentacles. We have the king and the queen together. For some of you, this could have been a marriage. It could have been balance that you were seeking within a marriage, but that balance wasn't being struck. Because it's right on top of the temperance card. And I feel like you were very patient. Some of you may have also been made to feel like an option in this relationship. And I feel like you kept tempering yourself over and over and over again. For some of you, I'm also getting this kind of led to a spiritual awakening for you. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful. The Ten of Cups doesn't show itself randomly. The Ten of Cups shows itself that despite the problems that you may have experienced in your relationship, the bond was strong. This was a soul tie that cannot be ignored. And I think that is why it hurt so much. Because at, at some point, you experienced everything that you we all do in relationships. Absolute emotional fulfillment. Eight of cups walking away. Some of you are just walking away from this conflict. You're wanting to move on. And I feel like only if you do, and I don't mean this as a permanent thing, you may need to move on from this to clear your head. I feel like you're smack dab in the middle of conflict and heartbreak right now, and you're not thinking straight. Some of you may even be overindulging, if you know what I mean. And I think you need to dig deeper. The Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups showing up together tell me that there could be overindulgence in substances or take it how it resonates. Just don't be in a rush to brush this under the rug, whatever this is. You need to address it. You need to nourish your body, not put it through more crap. 
you know what I mean and it's funny how you're getting this because a couple of signs before you got a very similar message page of wands yeah take it slow take it slow bring back that inner child bring back that adventurous spirit within you start small maybe take a short solo trip if you need to I'm not getting career here. I'm sorry. If those of you are here for career, maybe check one of your other placements. But this is a love reading. Drop the card. Eight of Swords. Yeah. You're in your head. It's almost like your heart is broken and your mind is at disease and the only way you can get out of this energy is when you walk away and if you want to come back to this make sure you come back to it with a clear heart and a clear head and a clear mind because if you come back to this and want to begin this afresh you'll, you'll just begin it with the same disillusionment I'm going to try and pull something from the, from the, for the energy you're dealing with, the King of Swords. This could be somebody who was very cold, very cutting, emotionless. Someone who made the rules in the relationship. You're coming about as the Queen of Pentacles and whoever you're dealing with is coming about as the King of Swords. So there was a lot of communication here that did not sit well with you. And you're almost questioning yourself, should I leave, should I not? Should I run away, should I stay? Should I work on this, should I not? And then you keep going back to, I was left out in the cold, I was abandoned. This is not my reading style, Libra. I, I don't usually do readings like this in this tone of voice. Uh, I'm picking up on your energy. I feel like you're deflated. You're not really sure where to go from here. Ten of Swords, you can't make this up. The Ten of Swords is something that's been overdone. Every sword in the Ten of Swords is an idea or a piece of wisdom or some kind of knowledge that comes about that almost overburdens your mind and keeps you stuck. The King of Swords can, like I said, be very cutting. It can be somebody who doesn't really communicate in the most delicate way. And I feel like every conversation you had with this person it, it it was like a, like a knife through the heart. Introspect. Nourish yourself. Clear your mind. Those are your pieces of advice. I'm going to get one last card here. And do remember that this is a monthly reading. This is not the rest of your life. If things are not working out right now, it doesn't mean that they never will. Just clear your energy. Meditate. You need to meditate. Libra. Wheel of Fortune. Things will change. They will. Like I told you that this is not the rest of your life. Okay. I'm going to get one more crossing card. The wheel of fortune comes about when we are incapable of making a decision. And the universe comes in and takes the wheel and changes things around. Gives you a new almost map to traverse on. You know. Six of cups. <laughs> There are too many memories here. This, the Six of Cups talks about childhood sweethearts. It talks about nostalgia, memories, happy memories. So I feel like the Six of Cups can be a very powerful card here, especially when it's touching the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things may shift back to the way they used to be before things got so sour. That's what I'm getting here. I'm going to get a bottom card because I've just been shuffling throughout. Six of Swords, moving on to Karma Waters. We have the Ten of Wands as well. When you get two tens in a reading, they can suggest the end of something and beginning something afresh because you've reached that apex. Okay, The tens, rep, uh, they, they reset to aces. And with the Six of Swords, I feel like this two sixes showing up together. Six is the number of the lovers. There is love here. And I told you we, can, we cannot disregard uh, the Ten of Cups that showed up. And I just realized you have three tens. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I feel whatever you thought was dead done over with, 
you may be able to revive this you may but first you need to cater to yourself and your needs and i feel like you've learned a lot through this in the ten of wands every wand represents a talent or a skill or again a piece of wisdom that you have honed on and gained for now it may be best to walk away till things uh smooth themselves over and i think they will i don't think this is something that you um can expect to just dissolve it's too strong the ten of cups is a very strong energy all right i'm getting you a couple of tea leaves grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling what did i say with the temperance card there has to be a balance here between heart and head you cannot make decisions solely from one place especially when the heart is broken and the head is muddled and it's interesting how i said initially your head is muddled right now right before we got clear your mind don't overwhelm yourself there's no rush make a decision only when you are confident about it arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life if you have been delving deeper into spirituality i feel like that is the right thing for you and if this is something related to work i feel like put your energy into that because we put too much pressure on ourselves like i said at the beginning of the astrological year and that energy needs to be directed somewhere otherwise we can explode put that energy into your spirituality put it into your work put it into your hobbies put it into nourishing yourself self care is very important desk pay attention to your work what did i say maybe it's time to focus on work right now libra i love it when this happens cheerful this has been showing up a lot someone new is entering your life now this new person entering your life could be a spiritual advisor it could be a guru it could be um a person literally a person it could be a romantic partner it could even be somebody you hire for the workplace and on the other hand this could be you filling a chair it could be you getting an like a job opportunity and offer where you know you're considered perfect for that job description uh and i feel like whatever this is with the milk and honey card being at the prime focus at the center of your reading there will be nourishment at the end of it the 10 of pentacles is the only 10 that didn't show up but this card is making up for it all these 10s are telling me that you are at the end of this journey because the 12th house again is the last house and we jump forward to the first house after this so you're completing this arduous journey clear your mind and then take leaps of faith as and when you need to and i feel like new and fresh beginnings are around the corner for you all right i hope this helped you guys uh, enjoy april i will see you next time bye bye